you know a Freddy Calhoun? Sure, I know Freddy. Freddy needs money to get out of town. Says he's prepared to blow the whistle on a primo reefer distribution ring. Says he Has can. Has he said how much it's going to cost? 50 bucks. And the department will front me the 50? You can put in an expense claim. He's over at Mike Lyman's on Hollywood Boulevard. See what you can find out. All right, guys, welcome back to L.A. Noir. I know it's been, uh, it's been about a week, you know? But you know what? Time for some reefer madness. Uh, this is actually, I think it's a downloadable content, uh, downloadable I think I made a money. case or whatever it's called. No, you just look like you're made of money. Oh, very good. The kid's on form. I'd say on a scale of dull to scintillating, you're a solid tedious today. You can be pleased. I always struggle finding the exit because it's all over the damn place. Let's do this. I think with the vice desk missions, I think we get this new car, which is pretty badass if you ask me. Where are we going to? Uh, let's see. Location. That's actually the current location. Let's do it. You drive. I need to go over the case notes. Let's do this, baby. Oh, yeah. Thanks for all your uh, support on the series. Thanks for your patience. We're going to be trying to plow through the rest of it, though. So these vice missions are a lot different than the typical ones. Not really sure what you're supposed to be doing, though. That's him in the back, Cole. Oh, here he is. Guy's smoking it up. Cherry pie was the Freddy. You're looking good. You're gonna help me, right? That's what I'm here for. You got the money? The 20? Sure, right here. 20? I said. You want the money or the alternative? Tell us about the reefer, Freddy. Another good Samaritan. Answer the question. Grass comes from Tijuana. We bring in 50 pounds a week. 50 pounds? Are you hallucinating, Freddy? Get stashed at a house at 1452 North Las Palmas. Names, Freddy. The guy at the house is a spick that goes by the name Juan Garcia Cruz. Be careful. He likes guns. How do I get my money? Do me a favor, Freddy. Spend the money on a bus ticket. You can't last forever on a snitch jacket. Let's go visit this Cruz character. 50 pounds of dope. 50 pounds? Holy shit. Speaking of reefer madness, I almost stole that person's car a minute ago. Did you see that? I was about to just straight up take it. Oh yeah, thanks for your patience. I know this series. I was I was hoping to have it done before you Grand Theft Auto Five came out. Where are we going? Who knows? We still could probably do it. We'll see. I'm not sure how long these last several missions are, so we'll have to just uh, just kind of have to gauge it. But I'm I'm wrapping up other stuff, so I should be able to put more time onto this one. So let's do this. You believe a story? Sure. A hophead like Freddy would raffle his sister for his next score. Oh, shit! Oh shit. My man over there. Oh shit, I just got hit. Oh, there's two of them. Jesus. Yes, come on, give me a. I'm trying to get away from this guy. Really hurts. Come on, come on. Yes, sir. I'll ask you politely to move on. Next time I won't be so nice.
So why do these guys just start shooting at me guns blazing? What happened? Dope peddler. Juan Cruz. You open fire and well, the rest of the story tells itself. Highly doubt I'm checking his face for anything, so let me let me check his coat pocket. No no no, not his not his face again. There we go. He's on double tap and check this. Tap tap. <laughs> Juan Garcia Cruz. This is his address. This place looks like a front. Same birthday as me. How about that? February 10th. Who would have thunk it? Check this business. A silver dollar. I thought they took these things out of circulation. So wherever that coin came from, we might actually have something. Okay, it's clean on the arm. Let's check the other arm. Yeah, I was willing to bring Detective Brad back. It's been a little while. I just... It's not that I forgot about this. I just... I haven't had much time, really. I've been busy trying to get other stuff. Uh, setting up a trip to San, San Francisco in like... Like next week sometime, actually. Is this a drug or a village in Borneo? Doesn't appear to be in Spanish. What we got here? Just a bottle? Looks irrelevant to me. How about that? Oh shit, was that the gun? Looks like a, a Thompson. I don't know. I played a lot of Medal of Honor, so that's kind of what it looks like. Let's check this kitchen. Whoa, what the hell? Tomato soup? Doesn't anyone eat regular meals anymore? Junkies feeding on popcorn and grasshoppers living on soup. I can feel it, guys. What is this? Looks like a box of ammo. Maybe. No. What the hell is this? Oh, shit. This had, this makes no sense whatsoever. Looks like a, I guess just a, a drawing book. Let me make a phone call really quick. Operator, message for KGPL. Putting you through now. Cole Phelps, badge 1247. How can I help, detective? I need an address on a Parnell Soup Company, a head office or factory in the Los Angeles area. Just a second, detective. Only one address listed. 6310 Fountain Avenue. Thanks, ma'am. So we could go to the soup company now, but there's music still playing here, so what I'm gonna do another day, another is check time. these other two rooms back here. Actually, there might be more than that. Look at this business. Looks like that soup company. Yeah, there it is. These are the guys keeping Juan so well stocked with soup. Make that money. Make that money. Oh uh, yeah, I don't want to spam you guys with this, but if it just so happens that I don't get this done before GTA 5 comes out, I'll be doing it alongside it. Uh, and it won't actually take away from anything. I'm still going to be playing this in, pretty much every day if I can. So I'm thinking about playing the other one on PS3, so I think it'll work out perfect because I'm playing this on PlayStation 3 as well. Not everything here is going to be relevant. So what else is there really? All these soup boxes, I don't know what these guys are up to. I have a feeling like this is going to be a long case. Can I go out back anywhere? Is there any other doors, any other rooms, anything like that? Nope. Okay. So what we're about to do now, we're going to check in here. Oh, look at what, what was this? What is this? Screened in porch? I'll say so. Uh oh, there's a door right here. I don't know what this is. 
Oh shit. Oh my god, this scared me. Huh. Phelps, you jump like a girl. <laughs> I don't like that at all, shit. What? Oh, business. Now we're getting somewhere. The hell we got back here? More soup? Keeps a secret stash of soup. With Juan dead, we need a new suspect, Cole. Is there a pattern to the deliveries? The one is 50 pounds over and over and over. This guy EJ seems to be bringing in most of the serious weight. The dates and times seem pretty regular. We should notify the border crossing. Those fuckers are probably in on it. Let's wait and see how this plays out. Oh shit. We're still actually, uh, we haven't found everything yet. Use a can opener. You hungry or something, Phelps? Uh-oh, sweet marijuana, Jesus. I'd say that's pretty good value for 12 cents. Factory sealed. Someone at the cannery has a lot of explaining to do. Go ahead and pass me a few cans of those and we'll be good. What the hell are we doing here? Oh, that's it! We finished it! Alright, we're out of here. We're getting the hell out of Dodge, guys. I actually think the way this is going, uh... These guys breaking out shooting me. This, look at this. Stretcher. There's no way this could end good. For, for anybody, really. Let's see our next location. Going to the soup company. Let's do this. You know the way. You can drive. Yeah, I ain't about to be driving. Hell no. Where's he at? What was he doing in there? What was he doing in the house? Brother says the morphine is still turning up. Makes sense. We have no idea how much of the stuff Lenny shifted. There's been no comeback from Cohen as yet. Maybe Confidential Magazine is right, and Bugsy is on the slide. You read that stuff? I wouldn't say it to his face if I was you. That is one hot-tempered son of a bitch. Right. Let's see if we can find out who's been over-seasoning the soup in this place. If I have to chase somebody, I swear to God I'm gonna choke someone. LAPD. Who owns this factory, ma'am? Mr. Parnell. Howard Parnell. I'll let him know you're here. Please, take a seat. If you don't mind, we'll come with you. If you must. I feel like I should check the lobby for other you stuff, just you know? follower, didn't you? You sly dog. I must apologize for my partner's roving eye. He hates saying goodbye, but he loves watching them leave. Give it a rest, Roy. If you could show these men in to see Mr. Parnell, Doris. They're from the LAPD. Follow me, gentlemen. Why she look like she just standing like a robot or something? After you? What is going on? We're a family company using family recipes. We don't know anything about dope rings. I need you to stop this from ruining the company's reputation. LAPD, sit tight, fatso. You could be in very serious trouble. There's no reason to be rude. Take a seat, gentlemen. I'm sure we can sort this all out. Maybe you can explain why we found $5 bags of marijuana in sealed Parnell soup cans. 
That's an outrageous allegation. How do you explain it, Chubby? We found at least 30 cans, all sealed up tight with your label on it. Can I get a list of your employees? Of course. We have nothing to hide. Doris, can you bring me in the current employee listing? Here it is, Mr. Parnell. On the desk, please. All right. Soup Company employee records. Who are Any we looking name for? On that list that rings a bell. I guess the address, maybe. What is this? Hang on. Whoa, whoa, hang on. No, I didn't do anything. Is there a second? Oh, there is a second page. Okay. I was wondering about that. Now, the address right here looks familiar. I think that's the one we just came from, isn't it? This is familiar. 1452 North Los Palmas. A Jorge Garcia Cruz. Uh oh, time to investigate this son of a bitch. Let's How do are it. Your sales, Mr. Parnell. Just fine and dandy, son. We're entering a new era of prosperity. I hope you're both big soup eaters. I'm gonna doubt this guy. I don't really have any evidence besides the marijuana can, and he don't really. Let me just check real quick. Hang on one second. Yeah, I don't know. I'm gonna doubt him. Mr. Parnell, do you know what kind of trouble you're in? Come clean with us. Okay, so things are a little flat. We're deciding whether to lower production. It's taken a while to adjust to not having any military contracts. You know, we sold Uncle Sam five million cans of minestrone. Factory sealed soup cans. Oh, I got some evidence to get your ass. The factory sealed cans we found suggest a very professional operation, Mr. Parnell. We're looking for an inside man. I know nothing about this. I want this stopped as much as you do. Okay, he's, but he's bullshit. I don't have anything that ties him, so I can't say he's lying, so... Tell me what I want to know, Parnell, or I will have half the LAPD down here tearing this place apart. You're hiding something. Am I right in thinking you would not want to pursue misdemeanors outside your drug case? Depending on what you call a misdemeanor, we might be prepared to turn a blind eye. The truth is, I employ a lot of illegals. No one wants to do menial work anymore. Most of my factory staff are wetbacks. The local blacks and Chicanos all want jobs in the aircraft factories. Presumably because the pay is a lot better. Knowledge of Cruz, brothers. Ever heard of Juan Garcia Cruz? Not that I know of. He has a brother employed here. You know him? We employ large numbers of Mexicans. I, I'm not familiar with them all. Part of me thinks he's... No, he's bullshitting. I, about to say, I thought he was telling the truth for a minute. No, he's... I'm, I'm gonna doubt this SOB. That's funny, Parnell. He has the same address as his brother Juan, who we shot dead less than an hour ago. You better give me something. Look, I'm not involved in this. I'm getting enough grief from Washington. There's an investigation going on into profiteering. Like a guy shouldn't be able to turn a buck while the war is on? I'm sure thousands of dead Marines sleep soundly knowing that you did okay. <laughs> Tell us about Jorge Garcia Cruz. Jorge? I had no idea of his last name. His team does daily maintenance on the conveyor belts and cookers. Either he has a really good poker face or he's telling the truth. I think he's telling the truth, guys. So he's here now? No, maintenance is at night. Uh, night shift finishes around midnight. He would usually come in around 9 p.m. and have everything ready for the morning shift at 6. We'd like to take a look around the factory floor, Mr. Parnell. I hope we won't have to shut down the line. No, nothing like that. Thank you. I'm grateful for that. I'll show you around myself. Interesting. I hate seeing how things are made. This is gonna be like that time I went to the slaughterhouse and couldn't eat steak for a week. This is about to be, uh, we're, we're probably about to blow this case wide the fuck open. It's gonna be glorious, guys. If 
if I had to guess, it's probably going to be one of those things where he knew about it, but didn't want to say anything because it would stop business, you know? I don't know. That's what it seems like to me. This is where the produce comes in. We peel and sort all of the vegetables and add them to the line in regular quantities. Fascinating. But where's the marijuana coming in at? Well, the reef of madness. Why don't you keep quiet? I learned something. Oh, good God. This really is turning into some nightmare school trip flashback. That's a lot of stuff, guys. That is a lot of stuff. This is the hopper, which boils and purees the vegetables. The other hopper is for the pasta. This way, please. You're loving this, aren't you, Phelps? Yeah, I don't know the why we're even doing this. Automatically into cans. Next stage is labeling. I'd like to see the packing and dispatch area, if you don't mind. Sure. It's over here. Follow me. It's over where? Hopefully this guy will tell me something soon. I'm kind of getting anxious. This is one of our dispatchers. Sergio, right? Yes, sir. These men are from the LAPD. Sergio here records our outgoing deliveries. They all go in the book. Just there on the desk. We'll see about this. We're looking for repeat business in large amounts, Cole. 15 boxes is always going to the same address. What's going on, Parnell? There's enough soup going to this place every day to feed a company of Marines. What are you talking about? I'm guessing the 20, yeah. No, I hate moving his thumb like that. Come on. Not there. I guess you're not really supposed to find anything with this. Can I have a look at that coin? Sure, why not? Oh shit, it's like the one we found. Silver dollar, right? Yeah, that's right. The markings on it say it's been taken out of circulation. Maybe. I'm not trying to buy anything with it. I like it. Brings me luck. I don't know about this, guys. Factory sealed soup cans. Let's do this. Do you have access to the canning area? I do. But I keep to my station. Loading and unloading. Don't care much for soup. Thought he was telling the truth until he... Oh man, this is tough. I don't have anything that really points to him doing that, but... I'm gonna say, I'm, I'm gonna have to doubt him just because I don't think, I, I think he's bullshitting. But I don't have any evidence. Sergio, if you don't give me something, I'm gonna go to immigration services and have you deported. You get a shipment once every two weeks. Ernesto does the driving. I don't know his full name. It's delivered here at night, or he gets it canned up. And here it gets sent all over the country. What do you know about the 20th century market? Nada. I get the orders from upstairs. I send the goods where I'm told. And you don't know Juan Garcia Cruz? No, not me. What about the silver dollar? I'm a lie. You're a liar, Sergio. You're in it, and I'm gonna break you for it. You're loco, Placa. I got nothing to do with Juan Garcia. If the dollar's on there, I'll be good. I should have checked first. Yeah, here it is. We found a matching silver dollar on Juan Garcia. What are the odds of that, Sergio? One and Jorge are in brothers. They're cousins. They work for some evil gabacho. The guy is an aberration. He gives out the silver dollars. Or he gets me a list of deliveries every morning. 
20th century is always on. You keep your mouth shut for today and I don't take you in. Do we have a deal? Do I have a choice? Is that a serious question? That's it for now, Sergio. If we need to speak to you again, we'll put in a call to Mr. Parnell. If you have to, I guess. We will be in touch, Mr. Parnell. It is imperative that things appear as normal here. Keep an eye on Sergio in case he gets tempted to blow the whistle. Thanks, I'll do that. You're going to overlook my little immigration problem, aren't you? Cheer up, fatso. We're gonna let you go on squeezing these poor saps a little while longer. Well, until some common union types infiltrate this place. All right, let's get the hell out of here. Where's the next place we're supposed to be going, I is it? I am glad to be out of that place. I never knew fresh vegetables could smell so bad. Oh, let's check really quick. Not sure where we're supposed to go next. Uh, did I not get everything here? Let's just go here. I don't know. We probably have to come back to this spot. Where's that red car at? It's on the curb over here? Yes, it is. All right. Well, whenever we come back, I will. Uh, I'll have more for you. I'm actually not driving anywhere. You can drive. The driving days are over. Thanks for all this love and support. How many years and I'll see you, you next been time. Advised?